Almost exactly three years after they married, Billy Bob and Angelina formally divorced in May 2003. Weathering the disappointment with grace, Angelina was hit by another blow. Her father used TV interviews to voice his concerns about his daughter, saying that she had, quote, serious mental problems. This time, it was the daughter who estranged herself from the father. I think that when a child grows up in an unstable environment, sometimes the only form of control that they can exercise is through some kind of self-mutilation. As an adult now, however, Angelina is able to cut off contact with the parent who's caused that instability in her life. And now she's able to focus on the role of motherhood rather than on being the hurt daughter who's been abandoned by her father. It's never been an easy or straightforward relationship that Angelina has had with her father, John Voigt. And clearly, John Voigt adores his daughter. He has pictures of her all over his office. He talks about her very emotionally. And he's told me that he really regrets the fact that he hasn't spent enough time with her and that he neglected her in many ways as a child while he was focusing on his own brilliant career. And I think he's just hoping that one day his daughter will forgive him. Angelina's forgiveness would give her father the opportunity to be grandpa to Maddox, as well as to the many children Angelina intends to adopt over the years. Being a mother keeps the talented actress grounded in a profession where her identity must keep changing. There's a bit of me in every character I've ever played, so um, so they kind of just like go into that side of my personality a little more during that time, and then, and then having a son that every time I come home, it just really reminds me who I am, which is just mom. <laughs> Regardless of how much time the acclaimed actress and humanitarian spends working for charity or caring for her son, Angelina's wild past has set her up for a constant barrage of inflamed reports of her sexual escapades. I think what's really fascinating about Angelina is this duality, that she is a formidable actress with great talent, but at the same time she's always in the tabloid headlines because she's forever associated with her latest co-star and that's partly because she's one of those stars who is prepared to bear her soul to the world. She's not afraid of discussing her personal life and that's why she's so endearing. But as an actress I think whatever happens in her personal life and we all hope that she does find some stability, her acting will carry her through. She is a really good solid actress. But finally, one persistent rumor did turn out to be true. Although they kept it quiet as long as possible, gorgeous Angelina and heartthrob Brad Pitt have developed into an undeniable item since the opening of their hit comedy thriller, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. My life is entertainment. No, I'm not a big, big fan of it, but uh, uh, there's bigger fights to be fought right now. Ironically, the movie portrayed the couple as married and bored with each other at least until spy intrigue livens things up between them. The famous duo kept their distance at the premiere for the movie, but finally they couldn't stay apart from each other any longer. I think we're very compatible. I, mean, I think you see it in the film, you know. It's always hard to judge to judge yourself from a distance, but we had we had a very easy working relationship. We we got on on set. We didn't disagree a lot when it came to the characters and so we became very much a team, and, and when it came to a, whether it was the stance or the comedy, I think we worked really well together. Angie and Brad were spotted vacationing together in Kenya, at Angelina's home in England, in Arizona, and even celebrating little Maddox's fourth birthday together at Brad's Malibu spread. The glamorous pair seems to be getting more serious by the day. Angelina and Maddox even stayed in Malibu with Brad for most of the summer between film projects. Well, the irony is that, you know, he in real life is the way she is in the movie and vice versa, right? Because he's actually quite domestic. He's very interested in fabrics and, and home decor. And she has no interest in that as a human being. But in the movie, her character is very into that stuff and he's not interested in that. At least one of the things the dazzling couple have in common is that Brad shares Angelina's passion for humanitarian concerns. The 41-year-old has dedicated himself to the One Organization, a charity focused on abolishing poverty. Sid has paid special attention to the plight of the war-torn and disease-ravaged people of Ethiopia. But even in the face of the heady and passionate romance, Angelina kept her priorities straight. In early July 2005, likely inspired by her new lover, the mother of one became a mother of two. 
traveling to Ethiopia, the dedicated humanitarian adopted seven-month-old baby girl Zahara, one of the 720,000 children orphaned by AIDS. Naturally, four-year-old Maddox, who was used to being the apple of Angie's eye, was not exactly enthusiastic about the newcomer. But his little sister is so giggly and cheerful that it didn't take long for him to come around. In the meantime, Maddox's home country of Cambodia has bestowed citizenship upon Angelina, in honor that she and her growing and well-traveled family will be sure to take advantage of. Perhaps one of the best results of Angelina's adoptions is that interest in foreign adoptions, especially from Ethiopia, have surged. I, I feel I feel I'm just lucky that you know I grew up kind of a bit more in this world and being an actress and not being aware of kind of very heavy real things in, in life and and I think we all do better as human beings when we're surrounded by real things and and real struggle and, and family and and uh, what we need to be focusing on. So it's been very um, it's made things very clear to me and. So as much as it's been very, certainly some of the things I've seen are just the most horrible things I've ever seen, I'm grateful that I know them so I can be a better person and be a part of it. Angelina has experienced plenty of trials and tribulations, heartache and joy, but she has learned from every bump in the road along the way. She now takes on roles that help her take on life and that live up to her tattoos. I look for women I can learn from, something about them that's, that's challenging, that I haven't yet played. But I, but I do like strong women. I tend to identify with them more, um, especially as I've gotten older and as I have a child and as I have, you know, I, I am, I've never been good at playing just the victim because there's, there's something in me that does like to fight.